Today's session, I want to talk about one of our finest quality acrylic mediums, and that is called fiber paste. Let's take a look at it. I want to talk about the properties, how you can use it, um, and just to maybe spark some ideas, because when people first look at it, they're not quite sure what they would do with it. But I've been using it for a number of projects. Fiber paste is classified by us as a textured ground. It is similar to gesso and that it can be applied to multiple surfaces as a primer in which you can paint on it with acrylics, oil paints, watercolors, gouaches, anything, it'll accept it. It in turn will also go on a lot of surfaces. It can be applied to canvas, paper, wood, um, metal, if they're properly prepared. It is so versatile and it cleans up with water. When you go into it, you expect it to be quite heavy and dense, but it does actually have small fibers in there, and thus the weight is actually quite light. This was created by our lab, and after much testing, they've got the formula down so that what you're left with is a product that is easy to apply. As you can see, it's got a lot of body to it. It's very thick but it's not heavy. It's not heavy like modeling paste. A short rayology that you can, like this, and if you leave it like that, it's going to stay like that. It's going to dry with those little peaks. As a natural surface that's very organic, it resembles plaster, oil plaster. But again, unlike plaster, these acrylic products, they will remain flexible even when they're dry. And that's a bonus because if you have a painting, you've done it on canvas. Canvas can move with climatic conditions. And if it doesn't have enough of a binder in there and flexibility, it's going to crack. And in some cases, it won't even adhere. And this has excellent adhesion qualities. You can see this is a patch that I applied earlier. And you can see you can bend it like this without it even cracking. Now, you may wonder, what, how do you color it? Because everyone doesn't want to work with white. Uh, there are two ways. You can color it pre-putting it on, in which case you would just put it out on your palette. And in this case, I'm going to put it in this little section here. I'm going to add some paint. You could use liquids, something that was something that's more of a thinner format. You could use something thicker. But the thing to keep in mind is this product is white and it does actually contain uh, titanium white pigment. And so whatever you mix in with it, you're going to be competing with that white for coloration and you're going to get more tints and candy colors, um, which is quite effective as well. I'm not going to put a lot of paint in there to compete with it because I know that's going to happen. And you mix it up. Again, I would have done this on a palette right on the, rather than on the surface. But you can mix the paint right in. It's not going to change it. Um, you're mixing it at such a low ratio, it's not going to change the gloss factor. This does dry with a slight tooth to it, which is really good because then paint subsequent layers adhere to it. As you can see, so you could tint the whole entire surface and then build up your layers from there. So the other method that you can use is to apply the fiber paste first onto your surface, let it dry, and then you can paint it post that. Again, I'm just going to show, normally I would have a palette out, but I'm just going to put some paint down. I'm just gonna put some right here off to the side. And you can see it accepts paint beautifully. And the other really nice quality about it, because it does have that um, textured surface, is that it's really easy to get some nice dry br brushing effects. If you don't want to put it on too thick, you can put it on just like this and pick up some of the textures. And as you also may have noticed, is that I put about the same amount of the high viscosity paint here as I did to mix it in. And this is what I was talking about when you are um, competing with the white that's already inherently in the formulation of this product.
And the other thing is that it is tough. That if I was to add lots of colors, take a palette and I scrape it away, no matter what I do, it can hold up. And it's not going to scrape off the surface because it's got that strong, as I was calling it, that strong adhesion that it's not going to lift away when I scumble or do things with it. And if you dilute out your colors, it's HV. You can spread it and you, if you don't want to see any of the white surface beneath, you can see that it fills in very easily. It's amazing to work with as a different surface ground. In terms of drawing time, which is another question people are, we all need to know when we're putting mediums on or any paint, it will dry the same as a high viscosity paint. Almost that if you put it on quite thin, such as this, it's going to be dry to touch in an hour or two. But if you put it on really thick like this, that is going to take, I wouldn't touch that for at least three or four days. But the other beautiful thing to mention is that that will keep those peaks. It's not going to soft shoulder and smooth out. It's going to keep that kind of texture, which can be really fun to play with.